In these films, the end of the world is yesterday's news. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 post-apocalyptic movies. Is that what they're called? Cats? Cats, of course. What else would they be called? <laughs> Cats! Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the best flicks set after a global disaster. We're including animated movies, but excluding anime, which really deserves its very own list. Number 10. Snowpiercer Like a runaway train, this South Korean Czech adaptation of a French graphic novel seemed to come out of nowhere, becoming a smash hit with critics. Everybody down! Hang on! In an all-too-plausible future, humans geoengineer a solution to climate change that instead freezes our home into an inhospitable earthsicle. The last survivors live on in a train circumnavigating the globe. Still going for it, are we? Featuring standout performances from Chris Evans and Tilda Swinton, it was inventive, it was thrilling, and even if it didn't always make complete sense, the most far-fetched elements were part of a compelling political parable about class struggle and revolution. They've got no bullets! Number 9. Dawn of the Dead When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Another day, another apocalypse. George A. Romero's classic zombie horror film Night of the Living Dead spawned a horde of sequels, but none so definitive as Dawn of the Dead. The zombie outbreak from the first film has torn apart social and political order, leading four survivors to seek refuge in an abandoned shopping mall. The result is a clever, gleeful combination of gruesome gore and social satire, taking aim at materialism and consumer culture. Why do these people keep them here? Because they still believe there's respect in dying. Often imitated but seldom eclipsed, the film's exploration of what people would do in a world without rules set the stage for countless post-apocalyptic movies to come, and inspired a pretty decent remake. Is everyone there dead? Yeah, in the sense that they all sort of uh, fell down and then I'm look for myself. Not gonna make it. Got up and I'll get as far as I can. Number eight, The Road. What is it? It's a treat for you. Abandon all hope, ye who enter the world of the road. Bleak and all too believable, John Hillcoat's adaptation of Cormac McCarthy's Pulitzer Prize winning novel is faithful and uncompromising. A father and son traverse the ash-choked, desolate landscape of post-apocalyptic America, dodging cannibals and scrounging for food. Are we still the good guys? Yes, we're still the good guys. It's a bare-boned, horrifically convincing take on human nature and life after disaster all the more memorable for a harrowing realism hammered home by strong performances by Viggo Mortensen and Cody Smith-McPhee. You might only be able to bring yourself to watch it once, but it's an emotional tale and a crowning moment in the genre. If there's a god up there, he would have turned it back on us by now. Number 7. Stalker No, you got cheese! In a dystopian future, the enigmatic zone offers a tantalizing promise. Inside is a room that grants wishes. Based on Boris and Arkady Strugatsky's novel Roadside Picnic, Russian filmmaker Andrei Tarkovsky's masterpiece is a philosophical and visually arresting journey into the heart of our innermost fears and desires. It's also a meditation on our fascination with apocalyptic narratives, with the surreal and dreamlike zone representing the possibilities and even hope inherent in chaos, as well as the twisted landscape of the human mind. Elusive and inspired, Stalker is an unforgettable film set in a world both uncanny and familiar. <laughs> Number six, Wally. Wally offers something rare in post-apocalyptic movies, hope. Pixar's delightful tale about a robot in love begins on a ruined Earth before following the adorable Trashbot onto the Starliner Axiom, where humans live pampered lives of carefree excess. Like Dawn of the Dead, Wally is another satire of consumerism, but without people eating each other. It's up to Wally and love interest Eve to inspire humans to greater aspirations. A worthy winner of the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature, Wally managed to be thoughtful and heartwarming at the same time, 
a pretty rare feat, especially for a movie about global catastrophe. John, get ready to have some kids! <laughs> Number 5. Children of Men In 2027, the world looks much the same, at least on the surface. And that may be where Alfonso Cuaron's Academy Award-nominated adaptation of P.D. James' novel derives much of its impact. Even in a society close to collapse, it's all too easy to recognize ourselves in children of men. As human infertility sows global chaos and anti-immigration sentiment sweeps the United Kingdom, a reluctant hero played with gripping intensity by Clive Owen must protect a pregnant refugee from the political machinations of revolutionaries and the authorities. That's it. It's okay. We're almost there, G. Gritty and suspenseful, the sci-fi thriller portrays a world ending not with a bang, but a whimper, slowly unraveling in the face of crisis. Wait till it gets faster! Wait, all right, just push, you push! Number four, 12 Monkeys. Do you know what crazy is? Crazy is majority rules. Yeah, uh. We can't change the past, but we might be able to save the future in Terry Gilliam's neo-noir sci-fi thriller, 12 Monkeys. In the future, a lethal virus has returned the planet's surface to the animals, while humans hide underground. Prisoner James Cole is sent back in time to collect information to develop a vaccine. Inspired by the French featurette La Jetée, 12 Monkeys similarly explores themes of memory, time, and perception. I want the future to be unknown. Its convoluted plot is carried confidently forward by a talented cast, in particular Brad Pitt as mental patient Jeffrey Goines. <laughs> Get it. Monkey. 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 Number 3. The Matrix The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. The Matrix was a seminal sci-fi film, both for its special effects and post-apocalyptic premise. Sure, robots had risen up in other movies, but the Wachowskis Academy Award-winning modern classic combined AI takeover and environmental disaster with provocative philosophical ideas about reality and illusion, and the nature of human desire and suffering. Then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends, it is only yourself. On the way, it also managed to be damn good fun, with iconic stylistic action sequences and a climactic finale that left audiences begging for more. A touchstone of the genre, The Matrix was a science fiction mind-bender of the best kind. Welcome to the desert of the real. Number 2. Planet of the Apes We got it off at the wrong stop. Before movies chronicled their rise, dawn, or war, we beheld their planet. When American astronauts crash land, they discover a world in which apes are the advanced species and humans the animals, hunted down and kept in captivity. You know what they say, human see, human do. Based on Pierre Boulle's novel La Planète des Singes, Franklin J. Schaffner's ambitious adaptation deftly blends adventure, science fiction, and social commentary with a memorable performance from Charlton Heston at its core. Inspiring sequels and reboots galore, it's a trailblazing tale that continues to influence the way we imagine life after civilization. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Before we reveal the identity of our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. with the interesting result that the background level of radiation in this very room is nine times what it was a year ago. Don't you know that? And then I wake up today in hospital, I wake up and I'm, I'm hallucinating or I'm... Number one, Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior. You want to get out of here? You talk to me. Mad Max has come a long way since his 1979 debut. While the acclaimed original established the iconic character, it was the sequel that fully realized Mad Max's dog-eat-dog -dog Dust Bowl world and set the tone for the future of the franchise. In a barren post-apocalyptic Australia, loner Max Rockatansky must defend a ragtag band of survivors, including the lethal but adorable Feral Kid. It's an excuse for some fantastic car chases, but also delivers an emotional punch. While subsequent installments might be bigger, faster, and more visually spectacular, with Fury Road worth a mention, the Road Warrior remains the definitive Mad Max. Save it. I'm just here for the gasoline. Do you agree with our picks? 
check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.